Hello and welcome to another episode of How You Can Do It Too. Uh, I got a 2002 Nissan Frontier. Uh, here lately, I've been uh, going to you know, put my key in, turn it, it goes click one time. And what's happening is I got to keep turning the key. Sometimes it'll take two times, sometimes it'll take ten times. And it has me really worried that it's going to leave me stranded. And uh, but so far it's been cranking up. Uh, let's see if it'll do it right now. But uh, no, see, it's working. But what I'm worried about is I'll get somewhere, and sure enough, it'll do it. And then one time it's not going to work. And if I'm posting this video, this fixed it because after reading all the forums and everything, uh, and it. It was the cheapest. I'm gonna try to put a link down um, in my description, and if you would use it, because uh, uh, I'm gonna try to get credit for it. Don't know about that yet, but uh, this is uh, an ignition. They call it an ignition switch. I bought it online. It was twenty-seven dollars, uh, and I'm gonna show you where it goes because it goes right in in here. But I figure for twenty-seven dollars. I'm going to give it a shot because uh, that's what it mostly sounds like. But again, if I posted this, um, it fixed it. So uh, I'm going to get right to it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is uh, pop off this little, take a flathead uh, screwdriver, pop off this little ring. Again, I'm calling that wire an ignition switch, but uh, that's how I ordered it. And see how easy that came off? I am not replacing this, um, but you got to do this to get this off. Now there's five screws on the bottom, Phillips screws. Uh, they're real easy to see. Um, I'm going to take those off first, and uh, we'll go ahead and get them off. Uh, there again, it's a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I'm on the last one, and they are all the same size. All of these screws right here are the same size so you don't have to worry about that all right now we're going to move on to the next step okay before i pop this two pieces apart on the column there are two screws one right here and one right here and i believe these are going to be a different size so keep them separate so i'm going to go ahead and take those two out now okay let's see if i can do this without getting away this should just pop off let that it is hooked up to some wires right here but I'm gonna let that hang down because we got to be able to get to some wires under the column but just let that hang down it's uh I guess you could unplug it if you want but I'm gonna leave it hooked up but this is so you can get into the wiring which I'll go into next but uh I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to pop this top off and move the camera Okay, now you should be able to take a flathead screwdriver, kind of pop it in the seam right here. Just kind of pop it. Oh, can you see it all? Yeah, you can. And see that just came off, just like that. Set it out of the side and set this to the side. Um, I kind of pull it over the ring there. Oh, it's dirty. I gotta clean it. All right, now let's uh, we'll go to the other side and show you what we're actually going to be replacing. Okay, I tried to zoom in on it. Um, here's the new one. See that little pin right there? And it's got this little piece. Well, that snaps up in there. Uh, and that piece is right here. Hopefully you can see it. Yep, you can. All right, so what you want to do is take a flathead screwdriver, get up under it. Should pop out pretty easy. Just kind of give it a twist. And there it comes. There we go. And then there's a push button on the release as well. Let me get up in here. 
I'm trying to do this without my hands getting in the way. But push up. Get the flathead screwdriver in there. See if that will help. And just connect it. Just like so. Okay. So we got that disconnected. See the little pin? All right. Now let's go on the next step. Okay, again, trying to zoom in on it. Let me get this up here. That's what we're trying to take out. See the two little holes? Well, you want to take your Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take that screw out and that one up there. Um, and I'm just going to, let me turn off the camera, but I'm going to take these two out. Okay, I got them loosened so I can take them out. Definitely save these screws as well because uh, my kit didn't come with new ones. Let me see if I can do this with my finger getting away. Pull that one out, set it down, and this should just slide right out like so. Just like that. And that's how you remove it. And so now we're gonna take this and take a new one. This. Yep, let me make sure I got this in. All right. And pop it in just like that. Gonna put the two new screws in. Click, uh, let me see. Yeah, uh, put the two screws in here and then snap it together and I'll show you that part. Let me go ahead and put the two screws back in. Okay, I got the two new screws in. Uh, do not torque on them. Uh, they weren't torqued in. They were pretty easy to take out. Do not torque on them. Just, you know, snug them up pretty, you know, just, just snug them up tight. Now what I'm going to do is go down to the plug in. Can you see that? Uh, yep, okay. So now... I want to make sure I get this plugged in and make sure the little pin thing the little, uh, is on the top where you got to snap it in the, in the place. Remember this little thing right here? Okay, it's clicked in. All right, it's easy to see the hole. And a little flat part, push it in, oh, so clicks. All right, there we go. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, just put everything back together in reverse. And um, there's the old one. Um, again, I'll try to put the, the part in the description as a link. I'm trying to do something new where I can get credit, actually you know, get paid for it and somehow, but, <laughs> but I mainly do this to help uh, people. But uh, if you see a link one way or the other at the bottom, if you want to order it, um, please use the link in the description. And um, uh, again, if I posted this, it worked. And uh, remember, if I can do it, you can too. Have a nice day.